Does the girl want to go talk to some other fucking loser? No. Okay, because you're a high value cool dude. She'd rather stay with you. So these are the things you need to consider. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about how to negotiate and how to persuade to get yourself uh, moving up the ranks in the corporate world or get salary or raise increases to procure apartments or, or rental places that you might not qualify for and to get girls to come home with you from cold approach situations. Okay, a lot of these principles uh, all tie in together. So we're gonna go into those strategies, but before we continue, if you are new to the channel or not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell so you never miss a video every single day. And if you want to get good at the game, I know that the majority of you guys have been banging your head against the wall for years. You've tried various approaches, you've studied various material, you've devoted time, effort, and money, in which most cases it has resulted in very minimal results or no results. Okay, if you want that all to change and start packing your schedule out with five to 10 days a week starting next week and closing one to two new girls a week and putting one new girl on rotation per week, jump on a free 30 minute call with me or one of my coaches and we'll walk you through how we can get you very, very, very good very quickly with a customized game plan based on your goals and your weaknesses and your current skill level. Okay, and we'll walk all that through for you for free. So it's worth coming just to get the analysis. Do not delay because spots are limited, okay? so. Uh, when I'm trying to take her home from the club, I tell guys on live boot camps, I say assume that she's already agreed to come with you. So it's not like, hey, do you want to go back with me later and do this? It's, hey, uh, I live close by, we should go do this. I live close by, let's go do this. Hey, I live close by, when we go to do this, do you prefer to drink gin or whiskey? When we go to do this, are you a good beer pong player? Do you want to be on my team? You're talking in that frame as if it's already been agreed upon. So I've helped lots of clients over the years get raises in salaries of their jobs or to move up in the corporate world into higher and higher ranked positions. I've also helped guys procure apartments, okay, to get penthouses and mansions and this and that and get the keys handed over even before they've been checked to see if they qualify, okay? And the, the way that you do things like this is you talk in the frame as if it's already been accepted okay so like say you're on a job interview okay rather than you know say oh how do i gain points here just like in a cold approach interaction i say the purpose of the cold approach interaction is just to determine to determine her logistics and objections you're not trying to gain attraction or win her over you're not trying to gain points you're not trying to avoid losing points you're not thinking about how you're doing so far you assume you already got the girl when you do a job interview you assume you already got the job it's the same principle okay and you're talking in the frame as if you've already been hired or you've already been given the raise so if, if it's a new job opportunity you would say stuff like Okay, so on a typical day, like, tell me what I'd be doing. Okay, you'd be doing this and this and this and this. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, I'm excited to work on this. Yeah, I'm excited to work on it. You're talking as if this is like a post-hiring discussion. Okay, that's a very powerful framing technique. You're also gonna be hardcore cementing your value. So you're gonna say, this is demonstrations of higher value. You're gonna say, okay, well, I bring this many years experience to the table. I have these skills. I really stand out from other applicants because of this and this and this. But then you also want to make yourself uh, look like a high demand, like in high demand uh, opportunity, uh, prospect, okay? Well, I've talked to these other companies here and you know these other companies are very anxious to hire me, but this particular company is my number one choice because of X, Y, Z. And then you parrot the mission statements of the company, okay? Because that's what they care about the most. So hey, I bring all these qualifications to the table. I think I'd be a perfect fit. I have these other opportunities and I need to let them know soon. However, I'd prefer to work here because of X, Y, Z being in alignment with my own personal values. And I'm excited to get started because of X, Y, Z, okay? Now, as you're, as you're talking, all the confidence comes from the frame that you already are assuming you got the job, okay? Just like when you're talking in a cold approach, all the confidence and stuff flows from the top of the hierarchy, okay? Just assuming you already got the girl. That's very, very powerful. It's the top of the tree. Everything flows from that. All your subcommunications, all your verbals come from the mindset that you already got the girl. It's a foregone conclusion. Just like when you're speaking in the job opportunity, you're assuming you already got the job. It's a foregone conclusion. You're assuming you're already gonna move into the apartment, okay? Yeah, I'm really excited to live here. I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna put this here. Yeah, no, this is really great. Yeah, I'm working on these big projects and this and that. You can, uh, trust me, I've gotten the keys to a lot of places in the past 
that I couldn't afford at the time. Just by talking about in the frame, like I already am going to be moving in. Okay, so it's extremely powerful. Let me give you one case example uh, to kind of put things in perspective. I had a client who was a programmer in Silicon Valley. He was making like 70 grand. They wanted to uh, put him up to like $80,000. Okay, and he's like, dude, I should be getting at least 100,000. I'm like, what do you think you're really worth, all things considered? He's like, at least double, like 140,000. I'm like, all right, let's go for 140,000. Then the agreement that I have with these guys, and by the way, if any of you want, to, want me to do this with you, coach you on this stuff with, your, with yourself personally, uh, we can discuss that if you email me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. I said, all right, we're gonna shoot for 140K. And the arrangement I did with this particular client, uh, spoiler alert, once we got him 140K, he paid me the difference in his salary for the first month. Okay, so the amount extra he was paid in the first month, that was my payment. So, um, let's see. So, so I had him first list all the reasons why he is extremely qualified and, you know, to, to be making that amount. I had him show other, uh, other people in this field making that amount. I had him showcase how he's in demand from other companies. And I said, listen, you're going to have to have the willingness to walk away. They're going to probably try to hardline. But, they know, but are you extremely valuable to the point where they wouldn't want to lose you? Yes, okay. So you're gonna have to hardline and say, no, I don't accept that offer and be willing to walk. And he had to exercise that. Okay, I think they offered him like one, 110 or maybe 100. And I said, no, not good enough. Tell them not good enough. Tell them there's other people willing to pay you 140 because that's how much you're worth, okay? And that's not true that, that other people are willing to pay that, but it, it's hypothetically true because after his whole assessment and everything, that's how much he deemed himself to be worth. So he's valuable to the company. Yes, of course, highlight all those reasons. Highlight all those reasons why you'd prefer to stay with them rather than moving on. However, make it clear that if they're not willing to come up to that level to pay you what you're worth, that you will go to other companies, even though you prefer not to work for those other companies, you will go to other companies to receive that amount that you are worth, okay? And make it very clear. In worst case scenario, if they won't give you that amount and you say, okay, I'm leaving, hopefully they'll try to give you that amount or something a lot closer to keep you. But it's not gonna be like they're gonna close the door completely. You can come, still come back most likely at the end and say, all right, listen, you know, I'm willing to throw you a bone here. And maybe you still just get like 120 or something like that, which is still far better than 70,000, okay? And there's, there's a bunch more to it. If you wanna go through salary negotiation tactics, negotiation tactics for procuring a property, negotiation tactics you know, for getting the girl, which is essentially what it is, do not hesitate. You can jump on, uh, you know, if it's with the dating stuff, jump on a free 30 minute call and we can discuss how I'll get you very good at the dating system. If it's for the other stuff with property procurement or salary negotiation, email me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. Otherwise, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. But it's really just all about talking in the frame that you've already got the property. You're talking in the frame that you've already got the job or you've already got the salary raise. Okay, talking in the frame of that you've already got the girl, that you're already gonna pull the girl. It's a foregone conclusion in all these cases. It's an extremely powerful framing technique. Okay, and, and you kind of like flip the role. So instead of being like, okay, uh, you, know, you know, what else can I tell you about myself? You're saying, hey, tell me what I'd be doing on day one. Hey, tell me the first project I'd be working on. Hey, tell me uh, once I move in here, about you know what I can put in this area. What I, okay, what's the rule about what I can put? Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have this come in. I'm gonna contact this person, put this in. You're talking about it as if it's already agreed upon. Okay, so instead of the frame being, uh, will I be part of this opportunity for the girl or the property or the job? No, the frame is, I'm already part of these things. Let's talk about details of what I'm gonna be doing you know, now that I'm in this new role or now that I have this property, or now that, I, or now that we're back at my house. Okay? That one simple thing, and there's a lot more to it, but that one simple thing is gonna advance you significantly. Okay? Then of course you need to represent the value that you bring to the table, okay? to, to sway them, and to why, okay, they should, they should uh, you know, give you this raise because you provide a lot of value to the company. They should come home with you because you're a cool, confident dude that has a lot going on, et cetera. Okay? And then you have to be willing to walk away if it doesn't meet your terms. Okay, you have to be willing to, okay, this isn't gonna work out. And fear of loss is a, a more important motivator than, than, fear, or than opportunity of gain. Okay, does that company wanna lose you? No, they'd rather just pay you a little bit of extra money. Does the girl wanna go talk to some other fucking loser? No, 
okay? Because you're a high value, cool dude. She'd rather stay with you. So these are the things you need to consider. But like I said, you can email me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com and we can discuss more in detail if you would like. Okay, obviously those will be paid calls. But I hope that was at least helpful in, in advancing you some of the way there. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe below if you have not already. And I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.